Hey, this is me uh, after the fact. I forgot to mention it in the episode, but um, just a heads up, everyone, that uh, today, the day this uh, episode should be coming out, the 16th of February, uh, the pack should be released. So uh, check it out in the description, and you should be able to finally be able to play this alongside uh, me and everybody else who's playing it. So yeah, uh, but let's get back into the video. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies Expert. We're back again today on our Sky Island, and uh, today we're going to be doing some pretty interesting things with uh, the Create mod. Uh, overall, some of these things are things we should have been doing, you know, from the from the get-go a little bit. But, you know, it's kind of nice to wait till this point in progression to do them, because we have access to a couple more resources and methods of obtaining those resources. So, it's going to be a little bit easier for us, but... Yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right into it and uh, get started with what we're doing today. So, I, uh, in between episodes, did a decent amount of prep work. Uh, some of this for the, what we were doing, kind of talking about at the end of the last episode with the Coke oven, because that's what we need for our progression. Um, but also, some of this is just going to be generally nice things just to have, uh, and I guess to start things off with that, today, like, for the beginning, we're going to be making a, a, what's it called, a, um, a tree farm, you know, so we don't have to mine trees anymore. And it's going to be, uh, automated in a sense. I mean, we're still going to have to repair water wells and whatnot, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not the end of the world, so... Uh, one of the things I wanted to make right off the bat, though, is one of these toolboxes. Because this is going to allow us, I believe, if we... Yeah, every inventory is... Yeah, I think it's like a chest. Yeah, and then you can put all this create stuff into it. And it's very nice for doing that. And then I think we can just... Uh... Should we just mine it up? I've never used one of these before, so... And picked up when R clicked opens the containers interface. It is definitely not opening up with a right click, so maybe we won't be using that. I don't know. I thought it would have been interesting, but I guess not. But to get started with our uh, tree farm that we need, we need to make some mechanical saws, which I think was plates like this. Uh, no, it's like that. And I'm going to make four of these to just get us started with. Right. And when we do this, this quest right here gets completed. And this is going to give us some of the components that we need to get this done in a uh, necessary fashion. So we'll get started on that. Uh, the way I want to kind of set this up is a little bit different uh, in, in a way. I mean, it's not entirely different, but... It's different in the sense of uh, how I would traditionally set it up because, you know, you have to uh, keep in mind all the uh, all the repairing and whatnot to, you know, have this work properly. Like the repairing of the water wheels because we don't have a, uh, a method of, uh, of rotational force that, like, stays together really but now technically speaking if we because what i want to do yeah let me grab a water wheel out of here because i know we have one and we then i think i'll set you up over here right i also made this uh dank this item right here it's really easy to make uh, and it essentially just holds um if i switch the mode it holds a bunch of certain items uh it's pretty standard for most modded uh playthroughs but i do know there are some people here who may not know what that is so just felt like i should point it out and yeah i just realized we're gonna need to move this over one to not have it intrude with our tree farm so we'll do that throw you there 
and then put you there. And we can honestly have a vertical gearbox right here. Go out. So it'll go down and then around and whatnot. So yeah, we'll mine this little section out. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't think with the dank it'll allow us to uh, place it like how we do with cork. So I'm just going to do that real quick and then fill ourselves up. We can make this like nicer later. But for right now, that should be functional in a way that isn't going to. Or I guess we could go ahead and put a shaft there. Yeah. And now we should be getting a water bucket. I guess I also will probably need a, uh, a clutch for this as well. But maybe not. Because maybe I don't want to turn it off. I just feel like it's going to eat up the uh, materials. But we need... Oh lord, what do we need? I'm forgetting a uh, water bucket. Yeah, so we'll make one of those, even though we have a uh, 80 million buckets lying around. Can I not? There we go. And we'll head over here. Gonna need to get some more food soon as well. Uh, what else? What else though? Um, in between episodes, I also didn't do much work in regards of like a. Uh, I didn't really do a whole whole lot uh kind of one of the things i did is i just made more source jars uh and whatnot so that way it could collect source and i upgraded our relay over here um so that way it can take from all of those uh source jars and then send them to this one and this one so it sends to multiple instead of just one like before but um with that being said, we now are going to need, uh, we should probably grab just some general testing saplings. And then I think I'm also going to want, uh, an item interface. Uh, I thought that's what it was called. Portable storage interface, which is going to need these chutes. So we'll make some of those. All right. That's a quest in itself, but we just need two of those for right now. And I just remembered that we're going to need these for... We're also going to need a chest, so we'll make a double chest. And we're also, hopefully in this episode, going to get to the point where uh, we get brass and everything through kind of like alloying and whatnot, so that'll be interesting, but we'll put... No, uh, don't separate them. We'll put you like that and then put I'll rotate you rotate you like that and then we'll have actually needs to be a block gap I'm pretty sure we'll do that and then that break you okay and well for the time being we'll just have it come into a chest but we are gonna need some gearboxes so I'm just gonna borrow these from here and then we'll come down this way and we will go like I'm pretty sure the radial if we look at this real quick mmm oh wait we still need that um the what's it called uh, what is that called? Where? Mechanical bearing. Yeah, we're gonna need one of those. I completely forgot about that. So. Hopefully this will still work in our intended way, but we're gonna go make one of those real quick. Because without that, the thing will not spin. And if it doesn't spin, then it doesn't work, obviously. So... We'll go up here. And I think the mechanical bearing, we just need a slab. So we'll take these. And 
mechanical bearing right there like so and then I'm hoping this will just automatically connect this may be some trial and error here but hopefully it, it works correctly we put you there yeah and then we run you down you're gonna need a vertical I'm gonna need two verticals actually to go this way like so and then this way connect you up like that right and I know we also want to set this to only place when anchor is destroyed might have broke this yeah I think we have to connect this up like that maybe and then where did our uh... there it is put you like that okay now that's spinning right now it's spinning the wrong direction so the way we're going to do, the way we're going to deal with that is with a gear shift here, which should flip the direction. Yeah, and see, this is, is it not spinning the, hmm, I don't think the saws are spinning, or they don't look like they're spinning. I'm just going to quickly build a staircase up so I can keep coming back up and down without having to destroy the floor. Okay, no, they're working. Um, I didn't get this part connected, though. So we will deal with that in the meantime. And I need this to go... This is the original orientation. So I want you to only place when anchor is destroyed. Right now we set it to that setting. And then if we glue this like that, right? And we fix our, we fix our dirt, hopefully. There's not gonna be a dirt there, but it's not the end of the world. I don't feel like, but we can then place saplings down like this. And then finally connect you up like that, right? And now this should, yeah, it'll interface over here. Those are destroying. We'll bow meal a couple trees real quick. And then hopefully. Yeah, they should chop down the trees. Yep, chops them down. Okay. Now why aren't you Why didn't you insert? Oh, that's right, because this needs I forget. This is the cork of this. It won't go directly into a chest. It needs to, uh, it needs to be, uh, it needs to be, what's it called? Um, do we have funnels? I thought I had some funnels. Yeah, it needs to go like this. Place you there, you there. Place you like that. And then we just need to rotate you now where you're pulling out. Yeah, there we go. And then it'll deposit all the items into there. So, that's pretty cool. Um, we can eventually, once we get our brass set up, we can have it set up where, uh, you know, it's pl it's placing its own saplings down. Which is definitely what we're going to want to be the case. But, um, 
with that, I'll put these back in here. Just for now. And we'll put some shoots in there as well. And we'll get moved on to the next step of what I wanted to do, which is these. These are a catalyst. I already uh, messed with them in between episodes, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Because uh, they are going to be essential for our, uh, our, you know, what we're doing. So, basically, using our enchanting apparatus that we achieved uh, last episode, we can take some of these mob drops, um, and it varies based on them. But some mob drops, and then a source gem, and uh, an amount of source, and then it will turn into that. So, we need some zinc. So, we I already have uh, gunpowder over here. But really quickly, we will show how this works. We right-click you there. And then this will turn into our zinc catalyst. Like so. And I'm actually going to make two of these because one of these will provide you with about two. So, yeah, primitive slurry and whatnot. And so this will give us a stack. Uh, we also are going to want, we have plenty of copper, but this is also how you get uh, iron, right? So that's valuable information to know. So we're going to need some of these enriched peat for our power generation while this is going on. So I'll throw you in there because this does use quite a bit of power. We will now swap you to be sending that in. And hopefully this should make us uh, the zinc that we need. Yes. And while that's going, we could honestly be... I know we're going to need deployers, so let's see what else we need for these. Um, we're going to need this redstone glass, which means we're going to need this kiln, right? So to get these, we're going to need some form of brick and then sandstone, right? Which uh, should not be difficult. We can take some logs that we have and smelt them get those going and in the meantime we'll make some sandstone take that out of there grab that piece of sand and sandstone 32 of it and then we have ash and then we use this and to make it into ash brick we need the uh, we need this guy Hopefully at some point I'll get a better system of this going. But for right now, we're just doing it this way. Just because, you know, we have no better way to do it. Or at least, we, at least not one that I'm like willing to take the time out to do. But break this fella and then put the gearbox let me make sure and grab that so we don't lose it and then pound and then I think we need does it need to be heated yeah we'll grab a bucket of lava and throw him in there and then we'll take uh turn this on no I think it's just uh also how many no, we needed, uh... So we're gonna need eight of these. In total. Oh my goodness, this goat. Get away. There are two more in there. Okay. And then... One of those and one of those. With, uh... I think we need just the mixer now, right? Yeah. So we break you. Are. Oh god. Put this here. Mixer there. Put this guy back. Okay, yeah, we got a kiln brick. So I will. I just throw these like that. And then it makes the correct amount. Yeah. 
All right, sweet. We will chuck you over there. Off the edge. And then this will give us access to a kiln. Right? Which is a pretty important multi-block. But I think we're also going to need an engineer's hammer. Uh, which is need just gonna need a piece of string we can go grab real quick just from doing this let me just do that and then we can each just two iron plates and then a piece of string up here and then we get the engineer's hammer right. we can see our tree farm is about to go about to chop that down and I think we will put this here yeah there we go and so to now get to the point where we are utilizing our our what's it called we're gonna need redstone glass right so your sink is done we can uh Send this back into here. How much did that eat up? There we go. Send that back. And then we will take our copper. And then I think this is just, yeah, it's one to one. So, wow, this is just, throw that in there, throw that in there. We'll just have that going. And then we're going to need redstone glass, I believe. So four glass and then a piece of redstone. So we are kind of running low in the redstone department, so I'm not going to make a ton of this, but I will make some. We'll get some glass smelting just because we don't have any. We're also probably going to need some coal to maybe power this kiln. I think it's coal powered. Maybe. I also feel like it's going to be really slow. Put that in there. Why is it grabbing two stacks? Put that back. Okay. Uh, it's our glass. No. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Grab that. And we will do this now. This is going... Yeah, 50 brass. So now that we're making brass, this is going to open up a lot of opportunities for us, but we will do this. And this isn't too bad. This is pretty quick. I'll put a U. A U in there. As well as U. And we'll put the box in there. Yeah, redstone glass. And then these are going to be needed for the electron tubes. Which are needed for our... It's used for a lot of things, but we're going to be using them for deployers. So, we'll go craft up the uh, hands. I think I'm going to want... So, I know I need at least... Uh... I need at least... Seven of them. I believe. So, I know I'm going to need... So like that. I thought it was hand. Uh, no, um, brass and yeah, like that. Oh, it needs the plates. Forgot. So we actually have to bonk these first. I did have it right. Is there, is there anything that like just normal brass is used for that might be worth saving? We should save some of it, yeah. mix that up and then we'll throw it down there and then let 32 of it maw because we also have more being made right here but we also got a ton of animals in between episodes uh i guess they just generally spawn but we got some raccoons and you know a pig and a cow we still have the bison um i'm recording this now i haven't looked at the comments yet about whether or not you guys have 
named uh, him or not, but you know, uh, still leave suggestions so far because haven't decided on anything yet. And these are almost done bonking. Yeah. Oh yeah. So one of the other things I did because I made some of these iron catalysts, right? Which uh, gave me iron ingots finally. And I made an iron spike. I was talking about this already. Uh, kind of last episode. But I have that in here now. Um, as well as this item collector. Right? Uh, it's not too bad to make. It's it's pretty simple. It's just some obsidian and an ender pearl. And basically I have it now where the mob farm is like kind of automated. Like it's dropping all these guys and collecting source the main reason i did it wasn't really for the drops it was really for the source collection so i didn't have to sit there and kill them and as you can see it's keeping our source jars pretty full for the most part so that's why i chose to do that but uh eventually we'll we'll upgrade the mob farm to where you know it's getting us xp and whatnot but so far that's not really a problem for us so we're now going to take these and our andesite alloy and we're gonna make seven seven of these guys and i almost wonder if i'm gonna have enough redstone glass to do this but we'll have to we'll just have to see because we are gonna need quite a bit yeah this is definitely not gonna be enough because so you need seven you're gonna need seven per electron tube so seven times seven we're gonna need 49 so pretty much all our redstone yeah, we're going to have to use all of it. So we're going to have to fight some witches. But I'll do that in between episodes. Hopefully we don't need more uh, more redstone this episode. I hope not. We probably will. No, we might look. But while that's going, uh, what else do we need for a deployer? We need just anisite casing. Yeah, we'll make some electron tubes. So we have three so far. So these are going to be the three for our, uh, coke, the coke, uh, the coke brick setup. Yeah, these three, um, which should be fine. I also just realized this is going to have to go through four times. Hmm. Does that mean we need four ash bricks per? That's what that means. That's going to be kind of crazy. But I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, I guess we could preemptively start kind of setting this up uh, for what we're trying to do. So we're going to have a system like this. It's going to be fairly simple. Uh, I do want to grab some chest to kind of delegate this. Um, I'm thinking... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and make four so we can have two double chest. But I'm thinking a system where on this end, we'll connect this with a belt, right? And then we'll it's just temporary placeholder. But we'll say uh, this chest right here and a site funnel out so it'll go on this belt okay so we're gonna need these like one two three like so and to be honest we will probably have them we technically could get in case chain drives now because we do have access to iron so i think i'll do that just so it looks a little bit nicer all right so we'll go bam 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 so now all those are linked up we will have, I think we could do something like this, to be honest with you, to where the rotational energy going off of these is also powering this, right? And I just realized too, we need to rotate these because they're in the wrong. Is that possible? Yeah, there we go. So, 
put them up like that. Which also means that this now is going to be... I just realized makes that kind of obsolete. Because now we really have to... Maybe we can do it like that. And then I think this will technically work. Let me grab that. Uh, we'll make one more. Just for current. But I think we can do this. And it will technically work, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. We get some... Uh, Awa, for this, I'll put you here into our double chest like that, and then Anasite funnel leading into you, right? And this is kind of a, I could honestly probably bring this in a little bit too, but this could probably go like that maybe. And then they'll connect you like that, and then do this. Yeah, that way it's a little bit more compact. But we now need to power these up, which means that I'm going to want some ways of doing this. I'm going to want first off a... water wheel set up and I honestly honestly might not be a bad idea to do it like this so we could have blocks like this right they're not exactly like this but we could have blocks like this going we could have a little window in that would then show us what exactly is going on. I think. Hopefully. And then. Ugh, I feel like I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be, but. Let's get some. Let's get a water bucket and see what this does. This will make it go that way. Um, question though, now is, okay. And then you leak out there. What if I place blocks first? No, but we could probably put like a, a sign there or something. That would block that water from coming out and still give us access to what we're trying to do. Or maybe even trap doors. Trap doors would probably work. Let's see now. So I think I'll have something. Yeah, something like this. And then I should be able to. from here repair everything right if need be so we'll I'll just do this corner and we could also fill this corner in and then yeah so this will give us access to repair those right 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 there okay And I should probably go ahead and knock out a spot for this to fit into. Like so, because then once we connect those up, it'll be golden. Um, I am also going to want some gear ratio shenanigans. Come here. And I want to immediately start gear ratioing because we want this to work in an effective manner that hopefully 
this is oh yeah this gotta go there now this might break it this might be too stress induced for this but we will just have to see and I'm off by one block that is embarrassing uh Like you. I feel like this is definitely too fast. We can always remove, uh. Make it vertical. Okay, no. Surprisingly not. So this is going, and I believe it's going the correct way. Now we have to connect these up somehow, which hmm, I might just do some. This is really scuffed, but this might just be some shenanigans that we do here where we just connect these up with a belt because I cannot be. Yeah, so this overstresses it, which is what I figured was gonna happen. So all that means we have to do is just remove. Still stressed. Cause it doesn't have to be insanely fast. It just has to be like, Kind of fast. I think this would. Yeah. This doesn't even need to be here. So. It's nothing crazy, but this will just work for what we're doing. And then hopefully. What is going on here? It's like broken. What is? Oh, like that. And then like you. So now that we have this, we're going to need sandstone. I think we need to put this in the actual hand. Yeah. And then what was the recipe? It was sandstone, then clay. So this will set this to clay. Put clay in his hand. And then ash brick. Like that. And then we get this fire essence. And we'll throw that in there. And then this is going very slow. Yeah, and so this this needs to be ran through here all these times. So we'll just let that run in the meantime, uh, even though it's pretty slow. All this stuff in here. Oh yeah, we need a redstone glass. That'll be the, the thing I do before I wrap up. We'll add on our uh, deployers to our, uh, our, what's it called, system, our tree farm. Need some tomatoes. We will go. Need some iron plates. Hopefully. We're only going to have enough for three. Which is not the end of the world. I mean, it, I guess three is like not optimal, but it is what it is. I think I can just go like this. I think I can literally just go. And then let me get my wrench out. Like so, yeah. And deploy you there. 
and to pull you there. And if we filter these the saplings, and then we glue them. Actually, like glue them like this, and then glue this like that, and then that like that, this like this. And now that's all connected. This should now take saplings though and plant them if it is given them hopefully yeah there we go so it'll now plant the saplings and mine the trees and whatnot so until we get another one it's not going to plant on this like outer ring but that's kind of not the end of the world but hopefully this should also I'm gonna do some stuff like this to see if we can get a. Uh, if it'll auto stock them back. Yeah. But yeah, guys, uh, I think that's where I'm going to wrap up the episode for today. We've been going for quite a long time. So yeah, as always, uh, if you liked the video, you know, consider liking and subscribing, doing all that fun stuff, leaving a comment. Um, we're still trying to figure out a name for our bison. So yeah, if you have any suggestions for that, uh, leave it down below, but I will uh, catch y'all guys in the next one. Peace.